For my kitchenette, I made um, those shelf brackets over there and the shelf units for the dishes and glasses. I really was trying to decide with this end of the wall what I wanted to do with it. And this is above the stove. We have an in-the-wall ventilation. That was really what was holding us up, is we weren't sure what we were going to do for the ventilation. So we decided, since we put that in the wall up above and I have all the space, that I'm going to go ahead and do another shelf, um, two shelves actually, and these are going to be smaller. They aren't going to be as deep as these shelf units. And instead of um, making brackets, I went ahead and purchased some small ones. I think it's probably about six inch deep shelves above the kitchen stove. I'll show you the process of how we're doing that. can see I am painting the brackets now. I've already given them two coats of Kills water-based primer and now I am giving them two coats of Valspar's semi-gloss indoor paint. I believe the color is called Cloud. So after I've done with these brackets, I've already given my shelves a coat of the um, poly shades polyurethane and stain all-in-one and I'm you'll see in just a minute here I'm doing a steel wool rubbing on the wood before I do the second coat and there is the second coat going on I'm just giving you a quick look at what the min wax poly shades looks like I love this stuff it's a one-step process do have to wait 24 hours between coats. Gives a really nice finish. So after I get these done and they've dried, then it's time to put them up on the wall. And here's Ken looking for the studs, getting those marked. We obviously have a very short level, so we're having to extend that with uh, my quilting ruler. So we're getting our placement all figured out. Getting those level. And all screwed into place. We just put two screws in each bracket on one side. Just because the other side wouldn't hit um, a stud, so it's really no point in putting those screws in there. And then we also put one screw in through the bracket into the upper shelf on each side. And then after that, it's time to put those little buttons in to cover up the screw holes. And I do put um, a coat of primer on, and I also I use some wood glue to put them in. And then I put two coats of uh, the paint. There is the uh, two shelves, all finished on the walls, looking great. I think the overall look for this kitchenette is really good. That really completes the look. I'm very happy with it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to be using the shelves as of yet, but one of the things we talked about was getting some matching spice jars. Something that'll look pretty. Obviously, I want it to be cohesive with everything else. I think it's a great look. There it is. And it gets more items up off the countertop. Counter space is obviously premium. I hope you enjoyed this video and this um, little journey with me and finishing up my little kitchenette. Have a great week. Stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you next time here on Heidi Creates. <laughs>